back to my channel and to yet another episode of all you need to know about the oral health in case you're new to my channel you're very much welcome and i'm super glad to meet you and if you've been here welcome back so today we'll be discussing another interesting topic like always which is how to prevent to decay uh, this is a very common question i get regularly and i'm here with five secrets that can help you with that so keep watching in case you're there to subscribe subscribe and turn my notification button on and get juicy tips coming your way basic tip or secrets to maintain good oral health and make sure you're free from cavity or tooth decay is run brush regularly properly and with the right toothbrush by the time you check these three things then you're good to go this is the most obvious tip i mean you must have heard it at some point or even all the time so and it never gets old there's two things you should know you brush at night to keep your teeth and you brush in the morning to keep your friends. Yeah, that's true. Brushing in the night is very important. This is because nights are the period of longest inactivity. So bacterial activity is usually on the rise. So by the time food particles are left in your mouth or stuck in some hard to reach areas around your teeth, bacteria take advantage of this inactivity period to feed on this food substance thereby releasing their byproduct which is lactic acid which in turn decays the teeth so now how can you prevent it by the time you brush at night properly before going to bed and if possible flux the teeth will be free of any form of particle so you wake up with your teeth in check or in one piece so and in the morning you brush after meal to make sure you keep fresh bread i mean who wants to be friends with someone with bad bread you don't even want to maintain a conversation so you brush in the morning and you brush at night very important and avoid the use of hard toothbrush it never works you know people have this feeling that the teeth is very hard so the harder the brush the better the cleaning it doesn't work well that way so let me give you this analogy you know the tile it's high floor tiles the tile is very hard similar to the teeth but in as much as the tie is hard, if you want to get it clean, you can use brush. That's the hard brush for washing car tires or jeans. You need to use a mop. And the mop is as soft as anything you can imagine. And yet it cleans the tie very well. That's how it is with the teeth. Using a hard toothbrush is like using a brush on this tired floor, thinking you're doing a good job. You're not doing a good job. But by the time you use a soft toothbrush and clean gently, you do the best job. So try this. Do this thank me later and number two watch your diet you are what you eat and that statement has never been so true like in the case of your oral health what you eat reflects on your teeth if you want to keep a healthy set of teeth then you have to pay attention to your diet try to limit excess consumption of sugary food and acidic food if you're someone that enjoys taking lime or lemon i believe you must have noticed that you constantly or you do have sensitivity this is because the acidic nature of the slime tends to wear the teeth away we call it erosion so try as much as possible to limit the consumption of acidic food and also sugary food sugar because bacteria feed on sugar and that is how you get to proceed reduce the acid that decays your teeth but as long as your teeth is free of these things you're good to go now if you must take them make sure you rinse with water properly to make sure the mouth is free from any form of particle and number three flux if you're someone that used to speak regularly i believe you must have noticed that at some point it's bleed it bleeds when you use it and all that so 
flossing is very important there are two types of flux we have the rapid flux and we also have the other improvised one the regular one you see in the market just get one and make sure you use the rope side don't use the plastic side like this kind of to, um, dental floss don't use the end the sharp end use the rope side clean gently and by the time you do this your teeth will always be free of tooth sorry of food particle and number four know your cavity risk level this is very very important in fact i would say this is the most important thing to know your cavity risk level and how can you know your cavity risk level you can only know your cavity risk level when you go for a comprehensive dental examination with your dentist everybody don't have the same kind of teeth some persons their teeth are weak why some have strong teeth two persons can be exposed to the same diet and one will keep suffering from decay why the other isn't this is because the strength of their teeth varies so by the time you check in with your dentist he checks he examines you properly then tell you how strong your teeth is and paraventure you have weak teeth to advise you on the kind of diet you should go and also your dental appointment could be more often than someone with a stronger teeth so it's very very important you know your cavity risk level in case you're yet to know try as much as possible to check in with the dentist and have a comprehensive dental examination to know where you stand and finally which is number five always keep up with by an annual appointment with your dentist twice a year that is once in six months this isn't asking for too much twice in a year like 12 months just go two times you know ask you're not asking for too much it's very important by the time you go for my annual appointment with your dentist you get to get your mouth cleaned scaling and polishing is a very important therapeutic procedure that helps to keep your teeth in check at least this area is where your toothbrush cannot reach scaling and polishing get to those area and leave a refreshing experience for you and apart from skin and polishing your dentist get to examine your teeth and know if there are deviations from normal in order to commence treatment immediately and in case you don't know the early stage of cavity is usually not painful so you won't even know that something is going on but with dental examination your dentist will get to know in time and suggest or recommend a better treatment procedure to prevent such situation from getting worse thank you very much and thank you for watching till this very point i believe you enjoyed this video and you got one or two things and as usual i'll appreciate it if you click the like button leave your comments and feedback i love seeing them then in case you're yet to subscribe once again subscribe to my channel turn on my notification button and let's keep engaging Remember, the goal is to improve your smile one video at a time. See you next episode.